Uh, I might as well bring up Paul now then. So when was the first time that you were on the phone to Paul and he tried and basically he said, oh, I've got somebody on the other line, I'll call you right back. And then he never called you back. <laughs> uh, I don't know the first time, but he's done that so many times. Uh, I don't know when the first time was. <laughs> How long did it take for you to uh, suss out Paul's personality? Uh, not not long. He, he he put me over too much. When someone puts you over that much, you can't believe it. <laughs> oh, right. To your face or to everybody? Well, to my face. He put me over so much how great I was. And I go, this guy's got me full of shit by saying this. <laughs> did he... Um... I did he? I did Eastern, and before it was ECW Extreme, did Eastern Championship actually play pay? Okay. Um, yes and no. Um, when I went, when I got double booked for Japan and ECW, it was there. ECW was paying me seven hundred fifty dollars a match. Japan was paying me five grand a match, so I was going to get paid six grand for this one match in Japan over seven hundred fifty dollars for this ECW match. So I chose this match in Japan. And anybody else would have too, you know, probably would have too. But, you know, he, he bitched about it. Yeah. Anybody I know would have cho chose that. Yeah, absolutely. I don't blame you. Um, other things about Paul, because I just like the little foibles and weird things like the stories. Uh, how many times were you booked on a flight under a different name? Oh, many, every weekend. But that was before you had to show ID. You didn't have to show ID to get on the plane or get your ticket. You just tell them your confirmation code. And, and the, the one guy who I think it was Gus Ramirez was in. No, uh, something, sal Gus Salsa or something like that was the name <laughs> he, he always used. Did you ever have like anything that was just like racially just did not, not compatible, like Mr. Wong or something? <laughs> no, no. I always had like a Mexican or, or a Puerto Rican name. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever get into the uh, uh, thing of, I know Paul E did this as well, did you ever get into the thing of when you didn't use a ticket, you'd store the ticket and use it as currency, basically? No, I never did that. But uh, I know guys that did. Yeah. Um, also, another thing I've heard about Paul is, uh, and I think Rob Van Dam actually said this, was one time he told uh, you and Rob that you didn't have to be in for a giant meeting and then um, you two didn't turn up. And then afterwards, Paul was like, where are these two guys? Just, just for some reason, just to fuck around with you. Well, to show that we, we weren't above the law either. Ah, I see. <laughs> so he told you Although we were at the time, I couldn't do no wrong. Like, Paul, there's no way he could punish me at the time. So this is the way he kind of punished me, what made it look like he was punishing me without punishing me. Oh, by, oh just by making a giant scene that he created. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, uh, this one more question I'll move off from Paul is uh, obviously I know it's, it's quite well documented that when ECW closed I know it's still a sore subject that he owed you quite a lot of money but um, when was the first time he owed you money because it wasn't like in the last few months I thought it, was, it stretched quite f far back doesn't it yeah every now and then a check would bounce and I'd let it go because I was doing good in Japan I didn't really need the ECW money I still wanted it but I, I didn't need it I didn't live off the ECW money I lived off the Japan money so whenever a check bounced I kind of, you know, I bring it up to him and let it go. And if he made up for it, okay. If he didn't, not that big of a deal. But years later, it kind of added up to, you know, hundred thousands of dollars and stuff. Mm. Uh, you know, with, merch money, with merchandise, uh, what sort of paid the best? Was it being in the uh, video game, computer game? Was it the dolls? I never got anything from that. Oh, really? Nobody got anything from that. Uh, Paul and maybe uh, Dreamer, but uh, no one got anything from it. People hate when I say dolls as well. So I say every single yeah, time I remind them up. Dolls, come on. 